Moss Valley is the name of the valley carved out by the moss, located in northeast Derbyshire, just south of Sheffield. It stretches from Norton and Jordan Thorpe in the west to Eckington and Mosborough in the east, where the moss joins the River Rother. I'm in the hamlet of Ford to start a walk from the car park at Ford Wheel Dam. Good morning. It's Wednesday the 15th of February 2023 and today it looks like it's going to be a glorious day. However, I've brought my waterproof coat with me today because there is supposed to be some rain later on. I don't know how much but hopefully it won't be too much but I think for this week today is going to be the last of the, the good weather days because it's supposed to be getting stormier tomorrow, windier and wetter so I've got to make the most of today really whilst I can. One of the easiest styles I think I've ever crossed. <laughs> well, so today I'm in the Moss Valley, not an area I know at all. This is probably one corner of Derbyshire that I've visited the least. Probably I've come in this to this area, I could probably count the amount of times on fingers on my one hand, so yeah, I don't know this part of Derbyshire at all. So yeah, all of today's walk is going to be completely new for me. Um, I visited Ford, oh, yeah, probably two or three times in the past, or just driven through it. But uh, I think I came here for work the first time years ago. Um, yeah, a couple of times, I don't know. I really can't remember. It's just, it's just not an area of Derbyshire that I know at all. So I think that's why I'm really looking forward to today's walk. It will actually involve crossing the county boundary into Sheffield for a little bit, but most of the walk actually is within North East Derbyshire again. The Moss Valley has a long history of quarrying and mining although the quarries and mines are now closed. There are also several mills in the valley, which was known as a centre for the production of scythes and sickles. In several locations, the moss has been dammed to create reservoirs and mill ponds. The valley is mostly agricultural now, but evidence of its industrial past can still be seen in places. Well, at least I made it today. I didn't think I was going to actually, because uh, last night was one of those nights where, for whatever reason, I just did not sleep very well at all. So I woke up this morning just feeling yuck for lack of sleep. Uh, so I just thought, oh, that means I'm not going to be able to do the walk today. Uh, so I went back to bed, you know, an hour or two, and I thought, oh, I've just got to push myself, otherwise, if I don't do this walk today, for sake, bearing in mind it's supposed to be the last day of the good weather this week, it's not going to get done. Um, and I thought, well, by the time I do wake up, what am I going to do? I'm just going to end up wasting the day, really. So uh, I really pushed myself to come out in the end, so I'm glad I have done. Um, so yeah, I'm a bit late starting this morning. I managed to park up at Ford. I got there just before 11. But we're into February now. The days are staying light for longer. So um, it should start getting dark just before six. So I should be okay, but I am gonna try not to dawdle today and just crack on with filming this walk. But, uh, yeah, it's gonna be a good day anyway. <laughs> I soon came to a junction of paths, where I turned left 
to head for another footbridge over the moss, near the remains of Carlton Wheel Dam. Under the wooden bridge are the remains of the ancient Packhorse Bridge, which was used by strings of mules bringing produce for grinding. Well, I've crossed the county boundary into Sheffield now, and this is the point where I leave the moss for a while. I'm going to be going uphill a little bit and sort of slightly doubling back on myself according to the map. Yeah, here we go. I followed the path between the woodland and field as I climbed steadily in a northwesterly direction. Getting some nicer views as I go a little bit higher. Yeah. Can you see that church spire sticking out of the woods? <laughs> Having checked the map, I imagine that church is probably Eckington Church. I walked up a sunken path, the remains of an old tramway believed to have led to a weighbridge for coal at Plumley. An early iron smelting facility was set up there by the Sitwells in the late 1600s. From the old tramway, I climbed a stepped path to a stile, leading me into another field, across which I headed north. getting a bit windy. That's because I'm higher up and more exposed now. <laughs> oh, this is lovely. Really lovely. Wow. I think those houses up there, just haven't checked the map, that must be Plumley. Oh, beautiful. Do you know, it's really nice to know that there are still places that are not far from home that I can discover for the first time. I'm so glad I've come here today. Fantastic. <laughs> so I'm guessing this track then is Plumley Lane. So that's Plumley Lane Farm behind me. I've got to go this way. So I'm heading west now. I think I'll just follow this track for quite some way. Passing the farm buildings to my left, I headed down a track to cross a minor stream and then uphill to follow a path across a large open field with splendid views over the upper moss valley. Oh, the clouds are getting blacker now. The sunshine is disappearing. It's a bit ominous. That means the rain that we've been promised today is on its way. <laughs> we'll see. And now I've got more views. Look at this. The views ahead were even lovelier at this point, as I could see Ridgeway in the distance and a wider panorama of the Moss Valley. So this is where I leave Sheffield, 
and I cross back into Derbyshire. I think the rest of today's walk will all be in Derbyshire. Climbing out of the valley, I finally reached the main road at Ridgeway. Like its neighbouring villages, Ridgeway was once deeply involved in the local industry of scythe and sickle manufacturing. At one time, it had a large industrial scale scythe manufacturer, known as the Common Side Sickle Manufactory, now converted into apartments. Now that I've reached the main road, I'm just up the hill from Ford, actually, where I parked my car this morning. So, up there is Ridgeway, and this side is Ridgeway Moor, according to the map. I'm not sure if I'm actually in Ridgeway or Ridgeway Moor, where I stand. Anyway, I'm going down this way to, towards Ridgeway Moor. <laughs> There's a clue there. So I guess I'm actually in Ridgeway then. St John's Church opened in 1840, with a tower added in 1884. In 1984, changes were made so that the church could be used as a community centre. The bus stop sign says Ridgeway as well, Ridgeway St John's Church. So I think that confirms that I'm definitely in Ridgeway. <laughs> Okay, well, again, sadly, I couldn't go inside this church because it's locked. It looks very nice from the outside. Anyway, on would I go? I turned right along a metalled road, passing the old schoolroom, soon joining a footpath to head down to the hamlet of Slowed Lane. This was once an area of small workshops and smithies, but now with very attractive houses. I went right to follow the lane until it became a narrow path. Continuing in a westerly direction, I soon reached a farm track as I slowly ascended across a large field towards Povey Farm. Upon reaching the farm, I went left to take a path between the farm buildings to head downhill again. I was now making my way southwards. At the bottom, I came to the moss again, at a footbridge and a ford. So I'm reunited with the moss now. And I thought it would be a lot more fun, rather than going over the footbridge there, which would seem the logical thing to do, not to say sensible, I thought I'd be different and walk through the ford. Give my boots a bit of a clean. <laughs> I'll only just get the muddy the other side though, won't I? <laughs> ah, lovely. Yeah. So, I just think I cross the moss here. I'll take the footpath which heads away from it the other side and up the steep climb that I'm about to do. Going through a small wood, I began to climb up again as I slowly headed towards the next village, looking back now and then to admire the lovely views. Wow, just lovely views, really nice. In a part of Derbyshire that I've rarely been to before. Oh, okay, let's just get this 
Last bit of the climb done, and I'll be in the village of Troy. When I finally reached the top, my path emerged onto a lane in the quiet village of Troy. The village is located on both banks of the Troy Brook and its tributary, the Vale Brook. So this is Troy then. I think I've only ever been to Troy once before. Yeah, because it really is off the beaten track. There's no main road that goes through Troy, so if you come here, you make a point of coming to Troy. But uh, yeah, a gate in, that's open. I won't go in though, not this time. Let's come back another time. But whilst I'm here in Troy, I'd like to give a shout out to Bob Simpson. Hi Bob, hope you're well. Now Bob actually contacted me just over a year ago and he actually suggested that it would be nice if I made a film in the Moss Valley. And I said, well, that's a great idea. Um, I did tell him that it was sort of on my very long, ever-growing list of films to do, um, but it wasn't one I was planning to do anytime soon. But I certainly said that, you know, I would like to do it at some point. Uh, so anyway, as it happens, here I am today, a lot sooner than I thought, because I wasn't actually planning to do a film around the Moss Valley as soon as I have been doing it today. But... Uh, it's just sort of fitted in with all the other films that I've done recently around North East Derbyshire. So you know, I thought it'd be nice to do it today and I'm very, very glad that I've come here today. So thank you, Bob, for suggesting the Moss Valley, but uh, as I say, I would have come here at some point anyway. But yeah, hello to Bob. Hope you all keep him well. And this is Troy Hall. And I remember seeing a video on YouTube not too long ago about Troy Hall and it was about the shop where they sell all the honey. Really interesting stuff. Troy Hall is home to the Troy Honey Trail and Medibee Limited, which produces a range of natural beehive products. Medibee is a family of British beekeepers, with the bees of Troy Hall enjoying medieval meadows which remained virtually unchanged in the last 400 years. So that's Troy. Okay, just got to make my way back to Ford now then. I followed the lane past Fold Farm before I gradually descended along a path across fields, giving me more wonderful views across the Moss Valley towards Ridgeway. As I descend back towards Ford, the sun's coming out again. Lovely. So that means that this walk's going to end on a very nice sunny day. But, uh, the majority of today has been sunny, really. Okay, we had a bit of black cloud earlier, and there were a few spots of rain, but the rain that came down, nothing to moan about. Must have lasted all of a few seconds. So, yep, it has been lovely today. Glorious walk. And I think I'm going to quite safely say that today's walk has probably been one of my favourites in a part of Derbyshire that's not in the Peak District. Now whether I'm saying that because, as I said at the start of the walk, this is one area of Derbyshire that I've visited the least and I've never done a walk here before, um, or whether it is just, just because it is generally a very pretty part of North East Derbyshire. Yeah, I mean it is, so Either way, I would say that this is one of my favourite walks, in, certainly in North East Derbyshire. Yeah. I think it would be quite nice to come back another time though and sort of do a walk here and leave the camera behind. Because, I mean, that is one thing. I mean, I love doing my filming and making films of my walks, but uh, I can't deny that you know, I'm always very tired by the end of my days. So it would be quite nice to just sort of come back and do another walk here, just leave the camera behind. and do sort of the walk more leisurely then. Yeah. As I descended through Burley Hay, I was reunited with the moss, 
where I followed the lane beside it back into Ford. What a delightful walk, absolutely wonderful. I'm so glad that I've finally done the Moss Valley, an area of Derbyshire that I've visited a lot less than anywhere else in Derbyshire. So, yeah, I'm going to come here again, as I said earlier, and maybe do another walk without the camera. But yeah, I'm tired now, so I'm looking forward to getting my boots off. And I might actually have a drink this time. The Bridge Inn is open behind me. There's not a pub I've been in before, so I'm on holiday this week, so why not? I know I've got the car, but I can have one drink. It's very rude not to. Thwaites Bridge Best Bitter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.